So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing extremely well, and this is your very own mask order this side. So sorry for being the question of the day a little late. The today's question is exit point in a matrix. Let us have a look at the problem. All right. So the problem says that you have been given a matrix, given something like this, right? Now in this matrix, you are starting from this point. You are starting from this point. It says if any point is zero, you will have to move. In the same direction in the same direction for those of you who do not understand what is the meaning of direction here give me some time and if you encounter one then you have to move right of current direction current direction and after that you will have to change this one to zero right now what do I mean by direction so suppose you are a traveler and you insert, uh, get inserted into this matrix from this point right you, were, you move from left to right, something like this, right? You encountered this zero, right? You encountered this zero, right? So your just, uh, current di direction is left to right, right? Okay. Now, after coming here, you see that there is a zero. You went to the zero, it says same direction. Okay, so I will move from here up till here. Okay. Now you encounter a one. The one says move right of it. So the right of the current direction, my current direction is left to right. So if I move the move, right of it the right of the left to right direction is this direction from here i will move here and before moving i will change this to zero right now again one the right direction of the current direction is this direction so i will change it to zero and i will move here now zero now whenever i encounter a zero i will have to move towards the same direction so this is actually getting out of my limits and i have to tell the node i have to tell the answer as which is the uh, uh, last node I have visited which is the last node I have visited such as so if I start indexing it it is 0 comma 0 0 comma 1 0 comma 2 0 1 comma 0 1 comma 1 1 comma 2 2 comma 0 2 comma 1 2 comma 2 these are the uh, rows and columns by index 0 right so this is my 1 comma 0 index so my answer will be 1 comma 0 this is the problem for today this is the only problem for today and let us have a look how we are going to solve it. So, I am taking an initial direction as I will be defining a pair of intent as direction and I will assign it as 0, 1. Why am I assigning it 0, 1? Because my initial direction was from left to right and whenever I am moving in this direction, I am actually increasing my column number and I am increasing my row number by 0. So, I am keeping my direction as 0, 1 and my row as 0, my call as 0 because these are my starting points now i will run an infinite loop i will say while true what i will do if that element at row comma call is equals to equal to zero that means i have to move in the same direction i have to move in the same direction i will say continue i will not say anything i am changing it to one when i have to change it to right direction what i will do i will see the direction constraints i will see the direction constraint if my direction is 0, 0,1 that is I was moving in this direction I have to go now in this direction so in this direction actually my column is remaining 0 and my row is increasing by 1 so it will be I will change 0, 0,1 to 1, 1,0 similarly for 1,0 I will change it 1,0 to this direction that is 0, minus 1 I will change 1,0 to 0, minus 1 0, minus 1 2 that is upwards so here column is uh, row is decreasing by 1 and column is remaining same 0 comma minus 1 to minus 1 comma 0 and minus 1 comma 0 to 0 comma 1 right and after this I will change my mat row call to 0 I will change my mat row call to 0 right okay after this I will compute n row equals to row and I will add this value to the row and similarly row plus let us say this is x this is y row plus x and similarly n call equals to call plus y if n row and n call are in the boundaries are not in the boundaries are not in boundaries that means that means row comma call are my answer otherwise else my row will become equals to new row and my column will become equals to new column and I will end this loop this is my whole code for today this is my whole code so this was an easy question what did I do 
I take my, took an initial direction and initial row and column and I change the directions only and I just did what the question demand me to say right so let us move to the code now all right so here is the code for you so as you can see I've defined the direction as 0 comma 1 my row is 0 my call is 0 now while true I said that I will use an infinite loop if my matrix row call is 1 that means I have to change my direction 0 comma 1 is changing to 1 comma 0 1 comma 0 is changing to 0 comma minus 1 0 comma minus 1 is changing to minus uh, minus 1 comma 0 minus 1 comma 0 is changing to 0 comma 1 and matrix or row call is changing to 0 right because it was 1 initially after that I will compute the new row and new column if that new row and new column are not in the boundaries of the matrix I am returning the previous row column otherwise I am changing that and after that I will be returning them okay this is the command for that return statement let us try to compile and run it now hope it will work fine and little sorry to bring the video late I am just trying to capture it as soon as possible okay so let us try to submit also now you can see the test case is going up and we have completed a 133 day streak thank you for watching and please stay tuned have a nice day bye